Hey Covenant Church, this is Pastor Rick on behalf of your leaders here at Covenant Church. I come with really great news today. <clears throat> news that we will be regathering for worship. You know, your leaders in these uncertain times, these last what will be 10 weeks have made uh, lots of decisions, uh, decisions that have been extremely hard to make, both with regard to uh, not uh, having worship together and even this decision now unanimously and with great enthusiasm to regather for worship. Uh, so thanks for praying for them. Uh, and indeed, as you see them, thank them for their good service. But here is this good news. On June the 7th at 1030, uh, these doors, which have been uh, typically closed now on a Sunday morning are going to open and you are going to walk through them and it's going to be glorious to see your wonderful faces as you walk through those doors and even as you walk into this hallway which has been empty and uh, echoing uh, for these last 10 weeks then as you will enter this amazing sanctuary that is just so beautiful but has been so empty and to once again worship and praise God together in these videos very pews. Uh, it will be a glorious day, June 7th at 1030. We're opening the doors. We're asking, asking that you come and that we regather uh, as God's people uh, for the glory of God. As we do that, uh, there are a couple of things that we want to ask of you to prepare for that day. I've tried to go real quick through these eight things, but are there important things? Ask that you take note of them and that you be prepared as you come. First of all, if you or anyone else in your family is sick at all, we just simply ask that you stay home uh, and that uh, use common sense with regard to coming on that day. S secondly, if any of you have any immunodeficiencies, so your immunities are low uh, for any reason or have any risk at all, if you're in that high risk category that people have talked about, we would simply ask that you as well would stay home for your safety um, in these days. I will tell you this, uh, for those of you who do stay home or choose to stay home during this time, uh, we will be live streaming. So uh, in, in difference to the taping that we've been doing, we'll be live and have cameras running. We'll have our own praise team. Uh, you'll hear the message live. So whatever is happening here in the sanctuary, you'll have an opportunity through Facebook or on our webpage uh, to be able to live stream and see exactly what's happening, even from the comfort of your living room. So those of you who need to stay home, know that you will be joining us in that way. Uh, we will also be social distancing in the sanctuary, so be aware of that when you come in. There'll be some pews marked off um, and then pews that are open. So even if it's been your pew for the last 43 years, if it's marked off, we would simply ask that you uh, find the nearest pew and make some sacrifices for us uh, during these days because we need to make sure that we are social distanced. So even within the same pew, we would ask that you uh, family units keep six feet uh, between uh, uh, other family units. If, if you have people coming from your own home, you're welcome to sit close to them. You've been with them. But uh, other family units, would you indeed keep six feet uh, of social distancing? Uh, we're also asking or requesting that you wear masks, especially in your coming and going as you have closer contact with people, uh, that you would wear masks. And indeed, we would request that you wear them through the service. If you have some health exception to that, we certainly understand. And if you don't have a mask, we'll have them here at the church in order for you to get one. We're also asking that you not linger as you love to do in, uh, in uh, after or before the service, that before the service you just come in, find your pew and prepare for worship afterwards that you would make your way out into the parking lot. And if you want to have some conversations in the parking lot, we ask that you not have any contact. So no hugging, uh, no handshaking, uh, just greet one another, uh, love on one another through social distancing with no contact. That's what we ask of you in this. Uh, also, families, we are, uh, as you can imagine, not having any children's services, so no uh, children's church, no nursery uh, during this time. And so we would ask that if you can and if you come, that you would keep your children uh, with you at all times uh, in doing that. And uh, we would love to have them, but need you to keep them uh, close by. Uh, we're also asking uh, that you refrain from using the bathrooms uh, while you're here. 
um, the bathrooms on the main floor of the sanctuary will be open uh, if indeed you need to use them. We will have deacons on hand to clean them after every use. But because of that, we just simply ask that you might be prepared uh, and you try really hard not to use the bathrooms while you are here. Finally, uh, we're going to limit access to the sanctuary by two exits and entrances uh, so that uh, cleaning is minimal uh, after the service. That will be obviously the main entrance that we just came through and from off the parking lot, as well as the East State Street entrance. So if you could be mindful as entrance and exit to only use those accesses, that would be uh, very, very helpful. Listen, I know it feels like a lot. It feels stringent, maybe too stringent for some, maybe not stringent enough for others, but this is where we believe God has called us to be as we regather. We'll continue to figure it out. We'll continue to pray, and, and hopefully, by God's grace, we'll continue to make uh, great uh, strides to getting back to what we're accustomed to in our worship here at Covenant Church. But we are so excited to have you regather with us in this sanctuary. So, June the 7th, 1030, uh, is this magical time that we're going to regather to worship God. We look forward to seeing you then.